Hey YouTube, this is Nick Theos from Michelson Yachts coming to you from uh, Alameda, California. Up here taking a look at this 2008 Michelson 62 Nomad Jani Lee you see over my shoulder here. Um, boat's got a ton of equipment. It uh, looks really good and I can't wait to take you through it. So fortunately for us, the uh, slip next to Jannie Lee's open, so I got a nice profile of the boat. The sun just came out up here, Northern California. It's a beautiful day. This boat's got the three-foot extended cockpit. It's got the flybridge option. There's a tower up there. Just went through and turned on all the electronics. You can see the radar spinning up there. It's got brand new electronics. Walk down the port side here. Alright, great big cockpit. Stepping aboard. Alright, let's look in this lazarette here port side we got gyro number one that is a sea keeper nine gyro stabilizer installed approximately 2020 i believe fuel tank here over here starboard side sea keeper nine number two so this boat has two sea keeper nines and it also has Westmar fin stabilizers, so working together, don't get any more stable than that. I've got a bow and a stern thruster. Maneuverability, you can't beat that. I got controls back here. And there's our first repeater for the uh, the brand new Ray Marine electronics that are on this boat. I'm playing with stuff for the first time today. I'm real impressed with it. It's really user friendly. Got a brand new barbecue here. Still got the wrappers on it. Check out the engine room right now. All right, I got a single crew booth or single crew berth port side. I got storage. I got laundry to starboard. Washer and a dryer. I got a diamond sea glazed door right here. As I enter my engine room, and these are 1,000 horsepower C18 cats. This is the only Nomad that we ever put these big motors in. This is the biggest power package ever installed on a Michelson, Michelson Nomad. Got rods overhead, I just hit my head on. Fuel manifold, I got an inverter, I got a water maker, I got batteries and batteries below the shelf. Engines look great. And there's a lot of motor in here, but you still got room to get around. My reservoir from our Westmar stabilizers. All right, I'm gonna take you upstairs. We'll go through the inside. Okay, I'm back up here in the cockpit on the covered lanai deck. This is all brand new upholstery. It's really nice. I got a day head over here. Cockpit sub panel. Here's my Eskimo ice machine controls. Ice machine was in that port side lazarette. Let's walk inside. Got the house cleaner here. We got a uh, nice big TV port side. Those are all open. Big settee. Nice and open in here. This is the owner, Ken. How you doing? Good. I'll give him a quick tour on YouTube. Got a couple barrel chairs over here, AV back here, this is all storage. Go down to the down to the private entrance of the master, I'll take you there later. Let's step up here to the galley. Nice and open. We got a little breeze through here right now. It's a opening window, fixed window, opening door. I got wipers in my pilot house. Let's see what's going on with the dash. Their controls, 
windshield wipers, bow and stern thruster, high water alarm on my horn, trim tabs, anchor, there's port and starboard motors, here's my first multi-repeater, display repeater, and I've got the radar and the plotter brought up on this big screen, I got the flare camera brought up on this big screen, generators, I got 1593 hours and 1605 hours. Fuel management. Here's my two Seakeeper controllers. Westmar fin stabilizer controllers. More Westmar fin stabilizer controllers. This is, uh, if I don't want to use the touch screens, I can use a cursor for any of these three screens. Uh, brand new ICOM radio, brand new Raymarine autopilot. Really nice, really nice dash, great visibility. You can see the Portuguese bridge out there. I got two nice Stid helm seats that are in great shape. Over here I got the ship's uh, electrical panel and a nice dinette that, uh, that converts to another berth. Real quickly, I'll take you outside to the Portuguese bridge. So I'll see right down the lines of the boat. You got one step up, look at this. Got controls. Boat does have trolling valves as well. Bow and stern thruster. I got a rudder rudder controller, and I can step right across. And I have all the duplicate set of controls here on the starboard side. Great for docking the boat. Your line of sight is just fantastic from these wing stations. I've got a door here to get to the bow fore deck. Two seats here. This has that brand new upholstery on it as well. And storage for fenders I'll take you up to the bridge next all right we're back in the uh back in the galley upper pilot house area this has got a ladder from the lanai deck or it's got an interior staircase from here i'm going up the interior staircase up here to the boat deck what do we got here we got a fixed life raft we got a 12 or 13 foot dinghy Got a thousand pound davit steelhead. Swing around here. Look down here. Nice. So aft of the bridge, I've got this locker. I've got it open already, but that comes down. I have a big top loading deep freeze. Got a sink. And I've got nice deep storage in here. Here's my entrance from downstairs. So I got two steps up to my flybridge. Again, new upholstery here. That one's still got the cover on it, all new upholstery. I've got a table that does all kinds of cool stuff. A couple of leafs on it. Got two helm seats. And we've got new electronics up here. So we've got. Big multi-display screen, the FLIR is brought up. Multi-display with my sounder. I've got a new Fusion stereo. I've got a new ICOM radio. I've got a new Raymarine autopilot. Trim tabs, horn, anchor, again, bow and stern thruster, engine controls. And this is the side, the uh, Furuno side scan sonar. Um, that wasn't, that's, that's not brand new, but it's got that nice feature. So it drops down and you can find fish. Enclosure's in great shape. It's a three-quarter enclosure, so the back is open. And while we're up here, we might as well pop our head up into the tower. Go up here. All right. I got a bench seat. This has got new upholstery on it. Radar spin, flare camera, got track vision, two track vision M5 domes. I got a feeling one of those probably is a phone. There's a camera right there. Here's my view from back here. Beautiful day in Alameda, looking across at Oakland. All right, let me show you some staterooms. I'll take you back downstairs. Okay, we're back in the pilot house. Starboard side, ship's main panel, down these stairs, smells good down here, it's nice and cool. Okay, what do we got? The port side, we got our bunk stateroom. So 
I got a bunk here. I got two bunks here. That's the pad for the dinette when it converts to a bed. And this bunk right here, this actually flips up. You can see there's a desk right there. So you can turn this into a desk if you want. Across the hall, got a head, guest head, nice big shower. And then uh, forward, these two staterooms share that head. I got a VIP stateroom overhead hatch, TV in here, big hanging locker, port side, hanging locker starboard, really nice stateroom for guests. And I got a bunch of drawers down there. So this one has the private entrance to the master. So we go back upstairs, back through here, do a U-turn, starboard side, private entrance to the master. So I've got a non-opening porthole. I got some storage here. Here's my door. And this is a full beam master stateroom. Really, really nice. Big bed. Air conditioning controls. Great big opening porthole. Could be an escape hatch, escape hatch if you wanted to. I got another one on that side behind the door. Big hanging lockers. That's the port side one. Real big one on the starboard side as well. TV. We step into the head, which is forward of the berth. Big shower with another big porthole that could be an escape, escape hatch. So it's something a little different we've done here. So I've got a vanity here and mirrors. Door opens. Boom. Another sink. Another big porthole, toilet, but you've got a you've got a privacy door here. And then I can back off a little bit. You have a big sliding door. So you can you can close the whole, the whole head. That's how that works. Let's go back upstairs. Well, thanks again for going on this tour of the Janny Lee with me, the uh, 2008 Michelson 62 Nomad that uh, is for sale up here in Northern California. Northern California. It's uh, Nick Theos from Michelson Yacht signing off. You can go to our website for more details on the boat. We'll see you next time. Thanks.